How's it going, everybody? It's Jeremy Ward, Ward Realty Services. Today is September 7th, and I just want to give you a September market update. Um, we have been uh, kind of looking at these updates since June. Um, in June 24th, we had about 400 units available to sell on the residential side in our market. Um, that went up to 463 uh, on the 29th of July. So we increased about 63 units then. And then on 810, we did an update and we were at 503 uh, residential units within our market to sell. So still a seller's market. Um, I'm going to show you the numbers for the end of August, beginning of September here shortly. We had basically been telling the sellers it's a good time to uh, sell your home. Uh, before the competition hits the market, which we are starting to see more and more inventory starting to stack up. We're still way in a seller's market, but when you go from only having about 300 to 400 homes to sell to having on today, it looks like we have 555. So about every month it's been going up about 10% our inventory has. So that's a good thing uh, for the buyers as well. They have a little bit more to choose from. Uh, they're not having to fight as hard for these deals. We're still seeing multiple offers, even in the high end. Um, but there, we have felt a little relief on um, the multiple offers and maybe not having so many of them. So some of the houses were able to get accepted under list price, right, for our buyers. There are those that everybody wants the price right, and we're having to go in in a multiple offer situation. But let me show you the numbers for the beginning of September here. I'm going to share a screen with you. We're gonna to go to our MLS, which is Southern Indiana Real Estate uh, Realtors Association. I like to look down here at the seven days. So in the last seven days, we've had a hundred listings come to the market uh, as new product. We've had 24 come back to the market, could have been financing, could have been inspections, you just never know. Uh, one of the things I've been pointing out to you guys is price decreases. Uh, we've got 55 in the last seven days. I think last video we did, we were right around 50. Uh, so that's a good sign that people are coming off their prices a little bit. They might've come in a little too high and they're adjusting. So that's good for our buyers. Uh, we've had three price increases. Sometimes that's new construction where they've added some upgrades. Looks like 142 uh, listings have went in pending in the last seven days. That's still very strong. Uh, and 117 have actually closed and went off the market and sold. So you can see we're still running behind. There's only 124 between the back on market and the new listings live today uh, that are new. And we just took off uh, 259 listings. Um, 107, 117 of those did close. So we've had another 11 deals expire. Um, don't really know what the reason is. That is just basically when it didn't sell in the time that it was listed for and expired and it came off the market, had another 10 um, complete release. Uh, those could come back on the market possibly as well as these 11 that expired and the eight that desire not to sell, that's usually they've just changed, uh, had a change of heart or something's coming up in their personal world where they can't sell. So the market is approving um, you know, as we roll into fall, just to sum it up, we got more inventory stacking up, more cho choices available, but we are still in a strong seller's market. These homes are not lasting very long. It's just a, it's going to be more of a balanced market once, unless something crazy happens with the COVID or, or the things that are going on in the world today, we should see this inventory number keep coming up. That's what I'm predicting. That's what I feel like is going to happen. That's what I've seen over the last three months. So it's good. It's good for the sellers. Um, takes a little of the stress out when they sell and have to go buy another home. And it's great for the buyers to have more choices. So just wanted to give you an update on our September, end of August and early September market. Hope you guys have a great week.